So let's use the product rule to differentiate something like y is equal to 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 3. Now ordinarily, I probably wouldn't use the product rule in order to differentiate this because you could just expand the brackets and differentiate each term individually, which I will show first. So, well, to confirm really that we would get the same answer. So, if I expand this, I have 2x times 3x, so 6x squared. I've got 2x times minus 3, so minus 6x, plus 3x, and so minus 3x, and then I've got 1 times minus 3, so minus 3. Okay? So, if I would then differentiate this, okay, if I was just going to differentiate it normally, then I would find dy by dx will be 12x minus 3. Okay? So you can see that we can differentiate it normally like that. That's perfectly fine. So now I'm going to use the product rule. Now the product rule said that if y is equal to f of x, g of x, then dy by dx is the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So f g prime plus f prime g. So if f of x is the 2x plus 1 and the g of x is the 3x minus 3, then dy by dx is the first, so 2x plus 1, times the derivative of the second, which will be 3, plus the second times the derivative of the first, which will be 2. So we're going to have 6x plus 3 plus 2 lots of 3x, so 6x minus 6, which is 12x minus 3. So as you can see, we get exactly the same answer. And this is how the product rule is used. Now, you might be thinking, well, it was just easier to expand the brackets um, and then differentiate each term individually. But once you get into problems where you're looking at 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 3 to the power of 10, for example, then expanding the brackets is no longer really a valuable option or a valid option. So that is where the product rule will really come into its own. Okay? And we're going to see an example of this in the next video.